On an enchanted island, there lived a young mouse who had everything he could ever wish for. Well, almost everything. I wish for a whole mountain of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do with a mountain of cheese? What do you think, Eckhart? I'd climb it and then eat my <laughs> way down. <laughs> what do you wish for? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> more than anything in the world. Huh? A kitten! Mavis, that's a wish you just can't have. But that's what I wish for. Hey, Eckhart, you still haven't told us your wish. Well, I wish my father would come home. Oh. Eckhart and his friends were not the only mice thinking about what they wanted. <laughs> and tomorrow, uh, how do you think I'll look tomorrow? Hmm? Uh, great! Great! Fabulous! Fabulous! Wonderful! Wonderful! Have you forgotten that tomorrow is a special day? It's Thursday? No, it's Sunday, you nitwit! It's my birthday, you idiot! Right, your birthday. <laughs> birthday, I knew that. I just kind of forgot. After all I've done for you two, I know you'll want to get me a token of your appreciation. <gasps> I was just saying to Shorty, the boss sure could use a new token. What's a token? It's a present, you lame brain. And it better be good. After all, I deserve the best. Uh, sure you do, boss. <laughs> uh, nothing but the best for the boss. <laughs> <laughs> but why can't I? Because, dear, kittens turn into cats and cats and mice don't get along. That's the way it's always been and probably always will be. Well, it's no fair. Well, I think it's no fair that I don't have my nice long tail anymore. Do you ever wish you had one, Grandpa? Sure, but that's not going to bring my tail back. Wish or no wish. Hmm. Mother, mm -hmm? what would you wish for if you could have anything in the whole world? Oh, I think I have everything a mouse could wish for. Except a tidy kitchen. Do you believe wishes can come true, Grandpa? Well, my lad, most lore tells us that wishes can be powerful forces. They can come true, but the wise mouse is careful what he wishes for. Why? Because wishes are like magnets. They can draw powerful things toward us. I don't understand, Grandpa. That's okay. It's something you'll have to discover for yourself. Hey! Did you see that? What? That! What is it, Grandpa? I'm not sure. Look! It's coming down near the burn! Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Mingo, the magnificent world traveler, adventurer, and captain of this amazing flying craft, the Extraordinaire. My journeys have taken me far and wide to the wonders of the world where I've met many extraordinary mice. Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Mingo. My name's Eckerd Fielding. I was wondering whether you've ever met a mouse named Gillis Fielding? Gillis Fielding, let me think now. I think I have heard that name before. <gasps> a kind mouse, is he? And brave? He's my father. He's away on a journey right now. 
Why, I must have met him in my travels, but where? Let me think. Hmm. Maybe? Oh, uh, no. I am sorry. Traveling is quite a tiring business. It wears a mouse out. Without proper rest and nourishment, why, I can barely remember my own name. Perhaps my memory would improve with a small snack. Alas, my pantry is empty and I... Ah. Uh, <laughs> Grandpa, could we please invite Mingo home for something to eat? Please, Grandpa? Well, I suppose we can find a crumb or two for a weary traveler. How kind you are. You know, I once dined at Sir Wood Mousley's fantastic castle. Ever been there? Delight. <laughs> it's time to do a little shopping for someone's birthday present. Yeah, I was thinking we should get the boys some socks. Very practical. You can never have too many, you know. We're not getting him socks, Brainless. <laughs> We're not? No. We're gonna get him something way better. Something full of hot air. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Gee, it wasn't like that. Perhaps it wasn't Catman Do that I bumped into old, uh, what's his name? Gillis. Exactly. Dangerous place, Catman Do. Overrun with cats, of course. We were a mere <gasps> whisker away from. Oh, why? Wait, it's coming back to me. I remember now. Gillis Fielding is the mayor of Emerald Junction. How could I have forgotten? Wow, Mouse Mayor of Emerald Junction. Say, where is Emerald Junction? Is it far? <laughs> well, it's not near, but if you follow the Dunk River past the Devil's Punch Bowl, then it's just over the next rise. You know, the last time I was there, I was honored as Mouse of the Year. Why, Gillis Fielding placed this around my neck himself. I, of course, was looked up to and admired as a handsome figure of a man. I cut a dashing figure in those days, with a suit that was caught just right. It was simply magnificent. I met the tailor in Paris. Ah. Uh. Wishing upon a star, Eckhart? Um, yes, sir. What did you wish for? I wish I could fly to Emerald Junction and bring my father home. It would make my mother and all of us happy. Well, perhaps we could arrange that, lad. We can? I mean, you can? How about tomorrow morning? First thing. Oh, tomorrow? Hmm, I'm afraid that won't do. You see, I have to rebuild my strength before we can depart. Oh. Yes, right. I'm sure that after a couple of weeks of your mother's fine cuisine, my strength should be back to par. Couple of weeks? Well, okay. I'm sure my mother will- Excellent! Now tomorrow I'll be conducting balloon demonstrations. For a small fee, of course. Perhaps you could assist me. It could be your training for our journey together to Emerald Junction. What do you say? Yes, sir. Top notch. I'll bring him home, for sure. I wonder how far it is to Emerald Junction. Oh, Eckhart, you should realize if your father really were in Emerald Junction, he would have come home by now. Well, maybe he's been too busy being the mayor. Son, I wouldn't put too much stock in the magnificent Mingo. Why? Let's just say some mice tell tall tales to look bigger and more important than they really are. They do? But why? Well, they aren't happy with who they are. They believe that if they were something different, they'd be happier. Well, I'd be much happier if I had a kitten. That's enough, both of you. No more talk of kittens or Emerald Junction. Case closed. <laughs> the boss is gonna love this birthday <laughs> present. <laughs> Everyone was so pleased to see me. All the people's smiles warmed my um, heart. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Magnificent. <laughs> no, no, please. Call me Captain Magnificent. Oh, aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Shorty and me. We were just thinking that you might need some, uh, 
Uh, helpers. <laughs> yeah. Need any helpers? Why, yes. I can always use additional ballast. You two can be tether holders. Aye, aye, aye Captain. <laughs> <clears throat> Today, I shall give a brief demonstration on flying my wondrous craft, the Extraordinaire. It takes a great deal of skill, knowledge, and experience to pilot such a craft. And a lot of hot air. <laughs> <laughs> Eckhart, time for the Extraordinaire to lift off. Yes, sir. <laughs> the next step is to carefully board the craft while maintaining the equilibrium of... <laughs> He's afraid of heights. <laughs> Ned, I think you're okay. You mean like the balloon is sitting down on the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful grass okay? Uh, uh, no, no, uh, not exactly. Then I'm not okay! <laughs> There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Well, I'm not That's sure not I know how to get us home right now, but I'll try my best. Ooh, it's too bad I can't read, because this here map might help. A map? Let's see. <gasps> Look, that must be the Devil's Punch Bowl. And this must be Emerald Junction. Maybe we could stop there before we go home. If it's not too far. Right, Ned? I'll go anywhere so long as it's down. It's not scary. Just take a little peek. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> well, okay, maybe just a little peek. Hey, it goes off, Nimbo. We've had enough of you. Ooh. Excuse me, is this Emerald Junction? Yes. yes. Hey, where's Mingo? The Magnificent. He's not here. <laughs> Ooh. I'm the captain now. My name is Eckert. I'm here to meet the Mouse Mayor of Emerald Junction. Oh, I'm Morick Towner, Mouse Mayor. But, but you can't be. Well, young lad, I am, and have been for many seasons. But Mingo told me my father was Mouse Mayor. Remember, Mingo? You made him Mouse of the Year? Mouse of the Year. Yeah, yeah right. 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 Shh, dear. I'm afraid you've been snagged by one of Mingo's tall tales. You see, Mingo has worn out his welcome in these parts. What with all his tall tales and broken promises and shenanigans, folks around here simply had enough. Oh, so I guess he never heard of Gillis Fielding either. Oh, why, yes. Why do you ask? He's my father. Well, you can be very proud of him. 
He's a hero in Emerald Junction. You see, when your father arrived, a fox was terrorizing the town. Your brave father tied a bell around the fox's neck while it was sleeping. Now, when we hear that bell, we know to run for cover. We're in his debt and always will be. Wow. But where is he now? Soon after, he left our village and no one knows where he went. Thank you, Morag. I've got to get home with the news. Ugh. Come on, you two. Let's get aboard. No way. Not again. I can't. Please, Shorty, don't make me. Okay, but I'm telling the boss you wouldn't come home for his birthday. I would want to be in your place when he gets a hold of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, see ya. Does anyone know? Never get home. We even missed the boss's birthday party. Party? What party? There's no party. Nobody likes him, Shorty. Nobody likes the boss. <gasps> they don't? This is all your fault. It was your big idea to steal the balloon for the boss. <gasps> so you think it's my fault, do you? The lighthouse. I see the lighthouse. We're almost home, Ned. Don't change the subject. This is in no way a... Almost home? That means solid ground. Terra firma. I could kiss somebody. Ew, keep your lips to yourself. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, no. That does not sound good. The wind is changed directions. We're going away from home and out to sea. Say out to sea. Do you mean absolutely no land out to sea? <laughs> ah, brother. Hey, it's Jasper. Jasper. From home, aren't we, fellas? We need your help. I bet you do. If mice were supposed to fly, you'd have been born with wings. Or a pilot license, at least. You're right. But flying is your specialty, and we need to get home. Do you now? Will you help us? Please, 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 please. please. What's in it for me? How about this very shiny spyglass? Mmm, shiny. Fasten your seatbelts, boys. Next stop's Crumbfast Cold. <laughs> wasn't there <gasps> anymore. Before he left to continue his adventure, Gillis Fielding was honored as a hero of Emerald Junction. I know that when he returns, he'll tell us all about it. I'm sorry, Mother. Oh, I couldn't be happier. I've got you home, and that's what I've been wishing for with all my heart. See, Eckhart, wishes do come true. <laughs> <laughs> Landed the extraordinaire like an old hand. <laughs> My goodness. 
Well, it looks as though I'll be staying here in Crumfest Cove for a while, if you don't <laughs> mind. Oh, what's all the commotion around Boss. here? Oh, Boss! Boss. Oh, 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 get oh, off oh, me! Where have you two oh, been? Oh. I spent my birthday alone. How could you be so cruel? Well, we were off getting your present, boss. Present? Yeah, that's right. Poor moi. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> well, you see, boss, a cat ate it. What? A cat ate it? No, I've heard everything. Couldn't you lame brains come up with a more original excuse? Dog ate it? A dog ate it? I'll get you. Oh, don't be mad, boss. Ah. We tried. We really did. Hey, did you save us any cake? Ah. You were very kind to Mingo and all his tall tales. Well, I don't really think he meant to cause trouble. Maybe his stories are really his wishes that he were someone bigger and more exciting. Could be. And I'd be the last mouse who'd want to wreck anybody's dream, no matter how wild it seems. Grandpa, what happens to the wishes that don't come true? Who says they don't come true? Perhaps those are the wishes that come true in their own time, my son. In their own good time.